The Pentagon is calling off a $10 billion contract. Tech giants Microsoft and Amazon were going head-to-head -to, -head to provide cloud computing services for the Department of Defense. NBC News tech correspondent Jake Ward joins us now with the latest on this. Jake, what is the Pentagon saying about why it's calling off this contract? Well, this was a very, very big deal. Once upon a time, Aaron, this was considered, you know, the largest technology contract pretty much ever awarded. It was supposed to be a $10 billion project. And really, in the end, it came down to uh, it being both outdated and the subject of incredible legal wrangling. Amazon and Microsoft, as you know, went to court over and over again, fighting over who should get this. These two companies were really the only ones that could conceivably have delivered on this according to uh, uh, the various people around this project. But in the end, all of that wrangling and the fact that the technology would probably be outdated by the time the contract uh, was in fact executed has the Pentagon at this point pulling out, Aaron. So, Jake, can you describe a little bit what the legal battle was here between Microsoft and Amazon? What was the, the core of the dispute? Well, you know, the crazy thing about this contract, Aaron, I, I once sat at a dinner of a bunch of chief technology officers from various Fortune 500 companies, and it just came up that the Jedi contract was at that time about to be awarded. And ne several of them basically said, I wouldn't even want that contract. It's so huge to mm. try to put together all of these ancient technology systems that the DOD was using across, you know, the Coast Guard, the Air Force, the CIA, all of these different places, right, would all come together under a $10 billion re responsibility. It's a big, big job. And only in the end, a handful of companies said that they were able to do it. Microsoft wound up getting the contract, even though Amazon was the clear front runner because it has Amazon Web Services, AWS, which provides cloud computing to basically everybody. It's mm -hmm. the dominant market leader. Well, Microsoft got it instead. Amazon said, we have been discriminated against by, at the time, President Trump's open hostility toward Amazon, toward Jeff Bezos, uh, who owned the Washington Post. A whole kerfuffle came out of that. And in the end, the fight went on and on and on. Now, it's looking as if the DOD is basically going to create a new thing called the Joint Warfighter Cloud Capability Project, which they seem to be into, uh, implying that it's going to go to both Microsoft and Amazon, both for security reasons and because those are the two companies capable of delivering this era. I want to applaud you for using kerfuffle on TV. <laughs> like, that doesn't happen very often. It I was know, I threw that in there. It just came out of me. Very nicely <laughs> used. Uh, one last question before I let you go. Uh, could this have any impact on, on big Pentagon tech contracts in the future? I think it definitely will. We're looking here at a world in which, as Ken a moment ago was just describing, right, we have uh, incredible hacking going on all the time. Cybersecurity is top of mind for anybody awarding a government contract right now. And so one big thing here is the original Jedi contract came from an era in which people thought it would be safest to give everything to one contract and one company so that we're all on one cloud computing uh, uh, service. In this case, it looks like they're going to instead award to multiple service providers. They're trying to get with the time and make it such that not all eggs are in one basket. Certainly the idea, though, that we live in a world in which only private companies are going to be able to build these kinds of things for the DOD, that used to be the assumption. Now it may be that the DOD could even build some of it themselves. But mm. this, this mixture of private and public and, and defense technology coming together in this weird way, it's a very new era for how this stuff gets built, Aaron. All right. Jake Ward for us today. Jake, thanks for breaking that down. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.